So for us uh, to generate uh, what for us will be a process to make 40,000 metric tons of this acrylic acid that goes into these paints and coatings, uh, we need about 3 million metric tons of corn in order to uh, do all of that transformation. Today, we're joined by Chris Nicholas, who is the co-founder and CEO of Lacrylle. Uh, thanks today for joining us, Chris. Uh, appreciate your time. Um, we're just going to jump right into some questions, uh, get to know things a little bit, and uh, see where the conversation takes us, all right? Sounds good. Thanks for having me on. So let's just start out uh, by explaining what Lacrylle does, uh, you know, uh, to, uh, to kind of the, the central Illinois farmer or, um, you know, any member that is uh, choosing to listen in today. Yeah, sounds good. So what uh, Lockerl Technologies does is we convert uh, corn into high value chemicals that go into things like super absorbent polymers, uh, it, coatings, adhesives, and a lot of different paint products. So we have a technology that does a, a chemical conversion that allows us to turn those bio-based sugars uh, via lactic acid. So today in the United States, uh, lactic acid is uh, derived entirely from corn-derived sugars. And that's uh, what we actually use as our feedstock in order to then uh, prepare these uh, paints, coatings, and uh, adhesives. Give us just a little bit of uh, where it started and, and how we got to where we are today. Um, you know, corn's been used in, um, in different processes for a long time, but what makes this process unique to what, uh, to what you guys are doing? This technology that we're working on now in order to make a bio-based acrylic acid that drops into the existing use cases, uh, that came out of a different lab in the University of Minnesota uh, from my co-founder, Professor Paul Dauenhauer. And we then set Lockerl Technologies up, licensed that uh, technology, and then we've been working out of Illinois uh, for three years now in order to scale the technology. You're using, you know, the the uh, bio-based sugars, if, I, if I'm mm -hmm. stating that right, yep, right? that's correct. So, yeah. so connect that to, obviously, we know the sugars can be derived from corn, but connect that mm -hmm. to why is your company important to the Illinois farmer and why should the Illinois farmer... Uh, maybe want to know a little bit more about, about Lacryl. Yeah. So uh, here in Illinois, corn is obviously one of the, the largest products that uh, the state actually produces. The lactic acid that we use is our feedstock. That's uh, corn derived. So uh, one takes uh, corn typically into a wet mill, uh, such as uh, those down in uh, Decatur and other uh, locations. And you take the, the sugar content from that, go into a fermentation. So for us uh, to generate uh, what for us will be a process to make 40,000 metric tons of this acrylic acid that goes into these paints and coatings, uh, we need about 3 million metric tons of corn in order to uh, do all of that transformation. So that's a, a good market uh, to offer some resilience uh, to other uses for that uh, same corn product, but then also is a market expansion into a brand new area. So one of the things that we're trying to do is get to a more sustainable uh, overall cycle. And to do that, we're essentially connecting that farm to the future by taking uh, those bio-based products, uh, the corn, and turning that into the high value chemicals that we all need in our daily life. Where do you source the corn from and how's that work being uh, being located where you are, but the future would be uh, that you have multiple sites and can mm -hmm. so. Okay, yeah. Very good. yeah, yeah. So essentially, the way that we are approaching the market is through a licensing and catalyst sales uh, strategies. So we sell the the process license. So that's an intellectual property uh, package that uh, would allow the licensor to the blueprint on how to build the the unit and the you know know how on how to to actually operate it. Uh, those will be installed in. Uh, rural locations that are uh, both close to a supply chain uh, for that overall sugar source, the corn. And what makes you so passionate about, um, you know, continuing down this road of, of a end process that is a end use for corn as well? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I spent the last 15 years working in large corporate. So prior to, to starting Lockerl Technologies, uh, I 
took uh, 15 years working for the Honeywell UOP organization. So they were one of the largest uh, process licensors and the, the longest lived. I worked on a number of different technologies to convert petroleum into the products that you need, you know, gasoline, diesel. But I was also then looking for a way to utilize that skill set and uh, be able to generate a more sustainable future for all of ourselves. Yep. The sustainable future is, uh, is, is obviously top of mind for so many of us and appreciate companies such as yourself that are taking the initiative to find new ways to make that possible. I know that one of the things that, um, you've been involved in and curious to hear kind of your, your side of, of the experience was you were part of the radical challenge, Mm -hmm. um, which, um, you know, I I think it might be best to kind of let you explain to us what that was and and how Mm -hmm. that benefited, uh, the company. Yeah, no, that's uh, been a great uh, process overall. So Radical VC uh, hosted a a competition, uh, which was funded by a number of different corn states, Illinois among them, uh, where they were looking for new uses and additional ways to uh, bring market value to corn. So there were a number of different uh, businesses overall that entered this competition. But we made it into the, the finals uh, where four of us uh, wound up pitching uh, out in San Francisco at a, uh, an overall competition. And yeah, we were selected as one of the, the winners. Well, congratulations, uh, certainly on the achievement there. You know, um, we, um, we had previously worked with you uh, here at Illinois Corn before the Radical Challenge. So we were really excited to watch the process and, and you'll wait for the outcome and, and knowing that you guys became one of the winners, uh, was, was awesome to hear. We'll move on to uh, kind of the highly anticipated part of the interview here, what we call not to be corny. And so, uh, (laughs) yeah, so, so we'll, we'll cover that. And then, uh, before we wrap up, if there's anything else to say, we'll do that. But, um, why did the farmer love look real? Why did the farmer love look real? Ooh, I don't know. That's a good one. Well, it's because it was the kernel of innovation everyone needed. Oh, wow. <laughs> uh, well, I will like definitely take fun. that as a compliment. <laughs> yep, yep. We like to have fun here. You guys truly are an innovative company. Um, and when that innovation meets Illinois Corn, it, uh, it certainly is uh, beloved here. Uh, within the office and and the department. Thank you for joining us today, Chris, and we look forward to what uh, LaCrill does in the future. Thanks for having us on. Thank you. Thank you.